Have you ever wondered how one of the most magnificent pieces of art, The Last Judgment, came to be? Picture this, a colossal fresco painting teeming with intricate details, the work of the legendary Michelangelo. This masterpiece, a culmination of his genius, has intrigued and fascinated viewers for centuries. Its grand scale and the meticulous attention to detail beckons us to delve deeper, to explore its origin, its creator, and the narrative it portrays. Embark on a journey to unravel the story behind the creation of this masterpiece. Michelangelo, a name synonymous with the Renaissance art, was the genius behind The Last Judgment. Born in the small town of Caprese, Italy in the year 1575, Michelangelo's artistic journey began under the tutelage of Domenico Ghirlandaio. It was here that he learned the techniques of fresco and perspective that would later form the foundation of his grand works. His talent was such that he was quickly noticed by Lorenzo de' Medici, the de facto ruler of the Florentine Republic, who took him under his wing and introduced him to the humanist philosophy that would greatly influence his work. Throughout his early career, Michelangelo's works, such as the Pieta and David, were marked by their remarkable realism and emotional intensity. His unique ability to blend the human form with emotion and spirituality was groundbreaking, and earned him a reputation as one of the most talented artists of his time. Then came the year 1534, when Pope Clement VII commissioned Michelangelo to paint the Last Judgment on the altar wall of the Sistine Chapel. This was no small task. The wall measured 44 by 41 feet, and the subject of the Last Judgment was a complex and challenging one. However, Michelangelo, with his deep understanding of human anatomy, and his ability to convey intense emotion through his work, was deemed the perfect artist for the job. With the commission in hand, Michelangelo embarked on a journey that would redefine the art of his time. Creating The Last Judgment was no mean feat. It demanded unwavering dedication, unparalleled skill, and immense patience. Picture this. Michelangelo, one of the true titans of Renaissance art, stood before a vast blank wall. His task? To transform this lifeless canvas into a vision of the divine. His first step was to sketch. With deft strokes, he began to outline his grand vision. Figures began to take shape, each one meticulously planned and positioned. This was not mere doodling or idle daydreaming. This was the birth of a masterpiece. Now let's dive into the heart of Michelangelo's unique painting technique. Fresco. Unlike oil painting, fresco requires a swift, confident hand. Michelangelo would apply a fresh layer of plaster to the wall and then, while it was still damp, he'd paint directly onto it. It was a race against time, a dance with the drying plaster. His knowledge of human anatomy was unparalleled. Each figure he painted was not just a shape, but a study in muscular form and movement. He created a symphony of bodies, each one in perfect harmony with the next. But the creation of The Last Judgment was not a smooth journey. Michelangelo faced numerous challenges, from the physical strain of painting on such a large scale to the pressure of completing his commission. Yet he remained undeterred. His creative spirit, as sturdy as the marble he often sculpted, refused to wane. And then, the final touches. The delicate shading, the careful highlights, the intricate details that brought depth and life to his work. Each stroke was a testament to Michelangelo's commitment and skill. Each detail, a testament to his genius. After years of painstaking labor, the last judgment finally came to life, stunning everyone with its grandeur. It was a testament to the power of human creativity, and a monument to one man's unwavering determination. Michelangelo had transformed a blank wall into an awe-inspiring vision of the divine, and in doing so, he'd created a masterpiece that would echo through the centuries. The Last Judgment, though a masterpiece, was not without its share of controversy. This monumental fresco, rich in detail and filled with over 300 figures, was groundbreaking in its bold depiction of nudity. However, not everyone shared Michelangelo's vision. In the mid-16th century, the Catholic Church was in the throes of the Counter-Reformation, a period marked by a renewed religious fervor and a desire to curb the perceived excesses of the Renaissance. The nudity in the Last Judgment was seen by some within the church as scandalous and inappropriate for a sacred space like the Sistine Chapel. Among the loudest critics was Biagio da Cesena, the master of ceremonies to Pope Paul III. 
He declared the painting more suitable for a public bath or tavern than a chapel. In response to this criticism, Michelangelo added an extra touch to his masterpiece. He painted the face of Biagio onto Minos, judge of the underworld, complete with donkey ears and a snake coiled around him, symbolizing the sin of vanity. However, the controversy did not end there. After Michelangelo's death, the Council of Trent, in its quest to reform the church, declared that no images calculated to excite lascivious feelings should be permitted in churches. Responding to this, the church commissioned artist Daniele de Volterra to cover the nudity in The Last Judgment with painted drapery, a task that earned him the nickname Il Bragatone, or the Breaches Maker. Michelangelo, a deeply religious man, was profoundly affected by the criticism. Nevertheless, he stood by his artistic vision, firmly believing in the purity and sanctity of the human form. His conviction is evident in the unchanged portions of the fresco, where his figures, in all their naked glory, continue to captivate audiences with their beauty and power. Despite the controversy, the Last Judgment stood the test of time, its beauty and power undiminished. The fresco continues to be a testament to Michelangelo's genius, and his unyielding belief in the power of art to elevate and inspire. The Last Judgment is more than just a painting, it's a testament to Michelangelo's genius and his enduring legacy. These words ring true even today, centuries after the masterpiece was completed. It's not just a painting on the wall of the Sistine Chapel, it's a living, breathing testament to the power of art and the unyielding spirit of an artist who dared to defy convention. The Last Judgment, with its vivid depiction of the final reckoning, has left an indelible mark on the world of art. Scores of artists, both past and present, have looked upon its grandeur for inspiration. It has served as a yardstick, setting a new standard for artistic expression and creativity. The influence of Michelangelo's work can be seen in the compositions of many later artists, who borrowed his techniques and themes to create their own masterpieces. But the legacy of The Last Judgment extends beyond the realm of art. It has become a cultural icon, a symbol of the Renaissance period's spirit of exploration and innovation. Its depiction of the human form in all its glory and frailty has challenged our perceptions of beauty, divinity and morality. It continues to provoke thought and incite debate, reminding us of the power of art to stir emotions and inspire change. Today, The Last Judgment stands as a testament to Michelangelo's genius. It has survived the ravages of time, the controversies that surrounded its creation, and the countless eyes that have gazed upon it. It continues to captivate audiences, drawing thousands of visitors each year to the Sistine Chapel. Its status as an iconic masterpiece remains unchallenged, its influence undeniable. Yet the true legacy of The Last Judgment lies in its ability to transcend time. Despite the centuries that have passed, it continues to resonate with us, speaking to our shared human experience. It reminds us of our mortality, our hopes, our fears, and our longing for redemption. It holds up a mirror to our souls, forcing us to confront our own judgments and to question our understanding of the divine. The Last Judgment remains a beacon of artistic brilliance, its allure undiminished by the passage of time. The journey of The Last Judgment is a tale of passion, perseverance and artistic excellence. This narrative began with an artist, Michelangelo, and his commission that would eventually become one of the most iconic pieces in the world of art. A commission that was not just a job but a calling, a challenge, a summons to create something extraordinary. And extraordinary it was. For four long years Michelangelo labored, his hands shaping the vision that his mind had crafted. The result was a fresco that pushed the boundaries of art and dared to defy convention. The creation process was not without its trials. Michelangelo wrestled not just with the physical demands of the work, but also the creative challenges. How to depict the grandeur of the Last Judgment, the final reckoning of souls, how to capture the beauty and the terror, the divinity and the humanity. But Michelangelo, with his unparalleled talent and unyielding determination, rose to the challenge. He created a piece that was as captivating as it was controversial. Ah, the controversy. The Last Judgment was not met with universal acclaim. Far from it. It challenged the norms, provoked the status quo, and sparked fierce debate. There were those who hailed it as a masterpiece, and those who condemned it as inappropriate. But through the controversy, The Last Judgment stood firm, its beauty and power undiminished. And then, the legacy. 
The Last Judgment has transcended time, its impact felt even today. It has inspired countless artists, provoked thought and discussion, and continues to awe viewers with its grandeur and complexity. It is a testament to Michelangelo's genius, a timeless masterpiece that has shaped the course of art history. The Last Judgment, a testament to Michelangelo's genius, continues to inspire and awe, a timeless masterpiece that transcends the boundaries of art.